Hey there, everybody. My name is Dale. I am so glad that you are back once again for another NASCAR 2000 Championship Season Mode playthrough, celebrating the game's 20th anniversary of its release, playing as a driver number 88 for Quality Care, Ford Taurus, that is future NASCAR Hall of Famer Dale Jarrett. Thank you for allowing me to come back into your lives for one more video. Thank you. You guys are phenomenal. In the last video, we raced to Texas, race 4 of 24 in this season, ended up coming home P3 after starting 15, I believe the Labonte brothers, yes the Labonte brothers finished 1 and 2, they started 1 and 2 and they finished 1 and 2 in the last race, we fought, scratched and clawed our way from 15th up to 3rd, keeping our top 5 streak alive here as we check out the standings here at the beginning of this here video, catching as a refresher. Yours truly ahead of Bobby Labonte by 34 points, Jeff Burton, Tara Labonte, and Jeremy Mayfield top 5 with Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, Mike Skinner, Tony Stewart, and Mark Martin running out the top 10. Scrolling down, all the way down to the unfortunate soul of Rusty Wallace, shotgun on the field so far through the first 4 races of the season. And yours truly, here's our stats, you see that we have Really good average finish right now. We have two wins, and we finished in the top five in every race so far. I think we have not done that in any of the other playthroughs uh, thus far. So, in this video, we head to Bristol. Bristol, Thunder Valley. Race five of 25 in the schedule here. 25 laps at Bristol. This is going to be good. We've traditionally done very good at Bristol in these games up to this point. I have not done any practice here. So, it would be curious to see if we can keep our momentum up from the Bristol races in NASCAR 99 and NASCAR 98. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing at Bristol. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so you guys know the deal by now. You also know the deal by now. 100% difficulty, veteran settings, and 100% AI difficulty, 100% drafting wake, or drafting ability, default setups, we're just going to get in here and qualify, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I have not done any testing and not done any practice. So we'll see how this goes. We'll probably totally screw this up. We'll find a way to screw this up. But, you know, 15.04 is the time that we need to be here. That is the whole time here. Let's go qualifying at Bristol. All right. Overdrove. Oh, I'm my all riders. Ball rode like a champ right there. A little Dale better in three and four right there. One more time around. Okay, there we go. We got two laps here, so that's that's good. All right. Hopefully, the second lap is a little bit better than the first. I felt a little bit better. I'm not sure exactly where that's gonna wind that's up. Okay. We'll make a few adjustments. Okay, P7. That's better than 15th last week at Texas. Dear God, Rusty Wallace is on the pole, and um, it'll be curious to see how exactly the tire wear is gonna affect us here at Bristol again. Remember, we won at Bristol in NASCAR '99 as the Jeff Gordon doing the Jeff Gordon playthrough. I think we won both races at Bristol that season. So. Hopefully we can keep our streak going. Hopefully we can keep the top five streak going here for the beginning of this season. Let's find out. Bristol Thunder Valley, ladies and gentlemen. This is the race right here. This is the hottest ticket in NASCAR. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing here at Bristol ESPN. Let's do this. Rusty Wallace and Mark Martin on the front row. Jeff Burton and Jeff Gordon make up row number two. Ward Burton and Dale Earnhardt make up row three for the Food City 500. Yours truly and Mike Skinner make up row four. Rounding out the top ten, Steve Park and Ken Schrader. Let's go racing here in the Food City 500. Three, two, one. Go, buddy, go, go, go. We're live from the world's fastest half-mile oval, Bristol Motor Speedway, for the running of the Food City 500. 
I'm Bob Jenkins, and with me is former NASCAR champion Benny Parsons. This many cars on this short track makes for some thrilling moments, eh, Benny? Bob, I know a lot of teams are worried about all the bumping that goes on here, but when you jam this many cars on a half mile over, you have to expect some scraping to occur. The lucky drivers are the ones that avoid the contact or fix it quickly in the pits. <laughs> Neil Jarrett won the first short track race of his career in 1997 at Bristol. Oh, well, there we go. He won his first short track race at Bristol in 1997. Going down the back stretch. All right. Well, the tire wear is already starting to kick in. You can see it right the there. You see it right there. It's already kicking that in. That was your best lap of the day. Car high. Ooh, baby. A little contact there trying to get around Dale Earnhardt, of all people. Trying to intimidate the intimidator. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but we move up a spot. We're up to six. works best to conserve tire wear. Tire wear is already starting to take effect. You can Picked see up the it. Pace through that trap. You can see it, and I'm sure you can feel it. Well, I know you can't feel it, but I can feel it. Man, he's getting shot. Oh, Earnhardt giving it back to me. <laughs> you need to break into the corner. I hate how you, when you hit the wall in this game, you seem to like be magnetized towards it. Like, yeah, you Rusty just get Wallace magnetized toward it. We're early in the race. I'm almost starting to go wide open here at Bristol. That's a really sad thing. I'm almost wide open. As a matter of fact, that is, that's wide open right there. That's wide open at Bristol right that there. That was your quickest lap. Keep it up. Yeah, I was you wide open. Right. Oh, contact with Ward Burton. Get out of the way. And here comes Mike Skinner making a three wide. I'm on the Neil apron. Jarrett that's not good. Being shown in the top five. Fighting with Mike Skinner. That's his best that's, lap so far. I know that's my best lap, and I'm we'll sitting here rubbing, banging right. fenders. This is how Bristol is right here, baby. He needs to stop cutting me off, though. We'll get the hammer Come on, ready. baby. Let me go. They're swapping all sorts of paint out there. Come on, baby. Oh, man, oh, man. Son of a bitch, man. That's frustrating. And you can't make the damn pass on somebody because the AI is just too unstable. Come on, baby. Let's go. Stay off the wall. Pit for tires now. All right. Okay, driver. Remember, your pit is on the back stretch. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm gonna pit this time here. Looks like the exit car is coming in for sure. And again, I am not going to. I am not going to uh, take tires. No tires. Just again. <laughs> just let it go. We're just gonna go with the fuel, baby. Just go with fuel. It's eventful first half of the race. I'm really trying to get up front and pass people, but it's just not working out that way, unfortunately. Hopefully the second half is a little bit better. Here we go. Watch out for traffic. Let's take Here's a look at his fucking Mike Skinner. And position before and fucking Mike Skinner. Leading. Bobby Lovato Here we moves go. into second place. Neil Jarrett is making an impressive run. Ooh, get off the wall. You need tires. I don't need tires. Shut up. How many races have we done now? And I'm not taking. I still have no tires. Still not taking any tires in this entire playthrough. We'll get the Mike Skinner, ready. get out of the fucking way, bro. Car you need high. to get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I am so much faster than you. I hunted you down. You need to get out of my way. Hopefully the damage isn't too bad. Yeah, I got a little damage on the front and on the side. That's okay though. We've got ten more laps left in today's race. Running P7, so it's not terrible, but like, I just I know I'm faster, so I need to get ahead of these guys. Going down the back stretch. I'm just wide open right now. I'm just drifting these corners and going wide open. Pit for tires now. No. <laughs> Just no. In the lead is Mark Martin. Mark Martin's leading. He's thing. running away with it. Here we can see where he started and his current position. Yeah, I haven't moved. <laughs> I ain't moved. I've been fucking stuck behind Mike Skinner this whole fucking race. That fucking scrub. How you doing in there? I'm doing all right otherwise. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the tire strategy ain't working to my favor here at Bristol. That's unfortunate. That's a little unfortunate. Our top five streak may end here. And here you can see a summary of his position throughout the race. Hey, hey, get off the wall! Damn it, man. Well, let's remember this for the fresh tire. Let's remember this Listen for the, to your the night chief, race. That wasn't to, best line. to take tires. May, need to, may want to take tires in the fall race or in the night race. It is not working out for us here. Keep it up, buddy. Unfortunately. Fortunately, it is not working out for us. You better save your tires. Tires are really worn. Tires are mad worn. Three Hold laps to go here. Top five streak is pro uh, probably going to end here. Okay, can I can I go straight? Let's, let's go straight. Let's let's not let's not like spin out or anything. Let's just go straight. Please, thank you. Two laps to go. Let's uh. Let's just keep this thing. Let's keep Listen this thing straight. Chief, it's the first time that it's actually like the tire wear is actually making sense, and I was not prepared for this at all. I was not prepared for this at all. White flag. We'll have to go here, Bristol, and uh, we are falling back. Unfortunately, our top five streak will end on the first four races. We're gonna come Dale home P8. In the top 10. A top 10 finish gets you a lot of points. Unfortunately. Uh, it could have been so much worse, but it could have also been so much better too. Fucking Mike Skinner. Fuck that fucking asshole. God damn. If I could have gone around Mike Skinner, I could have really like I could have moved up so much more. But I just couldn't fucking get around him. Just look. I kept fucking running into him and shit. And of course, this game does have like the ping pong effect. So like you hit him and then you get sent down the track and you get sent up the track. So like, yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Now well, the streak came to an end, unfortunately, but still a solid finish. It's, it could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Mark Martin picks up the win here at Bristol with Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Jeff Gordon, and Dale Earnhardt rounding at the top five. Mike Skinner, fuck you, Mike Skinner. Ward Burton, yours truly, Bobby Labonte, and Steve Park in the top 10. Bobby Hamilton, Ken Schrader, Jerry Mayfield, Tony Stewart, Sterling Marlin, and Terry Labonte rounding out the field here at Bristol. And here are the point standings after race five. Thankfully, Bobby Labonte did struggle a little bit too. I think he was behind us. I think he finished behind us at Bristol. But the point lead does shrink just by a little bit. Jeff Burton did gain some points on us. It is yours truly still on top of the points. Jeff Burton, Bobby Labonte, Dale Earnhardt, and Mark Martin has moved up into the top five of points. Jeff Gordon, Jerry Mayfield, Mike Skinner, Terry Labonte, and Rusty Wallace in the top ten. Tony Stewart and Rusty Wallace are, are tied for tenth right now. Ward Burton, Slim on Bobby Hamilton, Ken Schrader, and Steve Park, 16th. And I love how Rusty Wallace made a massive jump. He made a massive jump. He was shotgun on the field, and he jumped up to the top ten. That's craziness. That is absolute craziness. Here is our season info thus far after the first five races, and you can see that we do have a top 10 streak that's still active, but unfortunately our top five streak ended at four. Two wins, North Carolina and Salt Lake, third at Texas, fourth at Vegas, and eighth at Bristol um, for the first five races of the season. Not bad. Bristol could have gone a lot better. I think we're going to make, I think we're going to make uh, change tires at Bristol in the night race because that is coming up. Um, we do race at Bristol twice in this in this season, so uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change tires, do at least the tire change, and um, yeah, because that was the first time that that tire wear really caught me off guard. The car just really started just sliding everywhere, so it was no bueno. It was no bueno, that's for sure. But in any way, shape, or form, my name is Dale, and I thank you for tuning in to another NASCAR 2000 Championship Season Mode playthrough video. If you like what you saw, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell and the subscribe button. This way you get notified anytime I put up a video, NASCAR 2000 or otherwise, or any of the other shenanigans that you see on my channel. I am always humbled 
and appreciative of you, the viewer, for tuning in and watching this. I end my videos with be safe, have fun. I will see you guys in the next video where we go to Arkansas, which is the second of five fantasy tracks that are in this playthrough. That's going to be a lot of fun. I will see you guys then. Be safe, have fun. I'll see you guys on the next NASCAR 2000 video. I'm out of here, guys.